what's going on guys welcome back to the m slack channel now today i'll be talking about how to choose the best ultralight spinning wheel for you so before that i would like to say that this video is intended for beginners you know people who wanted to learn about ultralight fishing or if you want to buy an ultralight reel here are just few tips to consider and also these are just based on my research and also my personal preference so if you have any suggestions please comment down below no need to be wow wow so let's get started So the first factor you need to consider before buying an ultralight reel is what water you'll be fishing in, either sa dagat or sa tubig, fresh water or salt water. There's a big difference between fishing in fresh water and fishing in salt water. Salt water is tougher and choppier than fresh water. This means that you need a tougher and more durable ultralight spinning reel. I know you're gonna be fishing in salt water, so you're gonna need those tough and durable reels, those high quality and expensive reels. But not only ang materials ra imong hinumduman, but also ang iyang mga ball bearings. Metal should be rust resistant because salt water is harsher than fresh water. It can easily rust your rod and reels. So, if you want to go fishing in salt water, be sure that your reels have double shielded ball bearings. Number two you need to consider about buying an ultralight reel is how the reel is made, you know, the construction or the material of the reel. So, important yung guding makayabang noka. High quality reels have metal or aluminum or aluminum frame. Same with this Casking Megatron and some manufacturers have alloy to make the reels lightweight and easier to maneuver because it's ultralight fishing you gonna need those lightweight reels mostly sa ang nakitaan niya mga ultralight spinning reels are made from graphite but graphite spinning reels aren't that strong they don't work well on heavy fish but that doesn't mean that graphites are bad they are also tough and durable and they are more lightier than aluminum frame reels or metal frame reels just like the Casking Megatron. It has those aluminum frame and the graphite rudder. So it's just your personal preference. If you want to go with lighter reels, go for a graphite frame or body or nylon plastic body. And if you want to go with aluminum frame, then go buy a metal or aluminum frame reels. It's up to you. Third thing you need to consider before buying an ultralight reel is the bearings. Just like I said, if you want to go fishing on seawater, go with the reel with double shielded ball bearings because they are intended for salt water. And most, mostly sa mga reels o ban reels ng mga bartohon they don't really use bearings they use bushing because they are more cheaper than double shielded and also ubang mga reels is dili shielded ang ilang ball bearing so if dili shielded masudlan og sea water then goodbye among reel now the fourth thing you need to consider before buying ultralight reels are the gear ratios the gear ratio of a reel decides the, the speed you use to retrieve your fishing line and the power you have to crank. It's speed versus power. The first number in the gear ratio is how many times the bail rotates around the spool of the spinning reel. 6 to 1 and above have fast retrieval. So, ito mga 6 to 1 nga mga gear ratios, pas pas siya makakuwag mga linya. Kasagaran sa mga gamit is 5 to 1. So the fifth thing you need to consider before buying an ultralight reel is the drag. Now the drag of a spinning reel is what helps you reel in a hook fish. It applies pressure on the fish if you have it on your line and lets 
line out when you're trying to reel the fish in. So if a spinning reel has a superior drag, ito mga reeling ang mga dagong mga drag, you don't have to worry about line break when you are, you know, pag-away sa isda. Look for reels that have huge amount of drag washers because it ensures stability and durability. So, if taghan ng washers, dako ang drag, so you can catch those bigger and tougher fish. When checking out the drag of a spinning reel, you need to know how much pressure it can take because if your reel can take the pressure of the fish, it doesn't matter if the drag can. Now the sixth thing you need to consider before buying ultralight wheels are the spool. Below the drag knob is the spool that holds your fishing line. The spool determines your casting distance as well as how smooth your cast is. I think there are three types of spool. The deep spool, the wide spool, and the shallow spool. Now, the example of a deep spool is the casking Megatron. You can see the ang yang lip is layo sa yang arbor and ang wide spool is the Ryubi Ultra Power. Kita niyo ang ilang kalahe sa ilang spool. And example po sa shallow spool is the casking Zephyr. You know the finesse type. You can search it on online online shop. Now be careful using on a deep spool because deep spool tends to create more line twists, especially casting on a wind. But both of them can cast for the lures depending on what what line you use and what type of lure you use. Now the last thing you need to consider before buying ultralight reels are the handles. Handles are very important feature for you. Make sure nga comfortable ka sa paggunit, especially sa knob, and before you buy it, you know, this thing you crank it or reel it or make sure nga comfortable ka. And also the knob of the handles, make sure that when you test it out, it doesn't slip because I have a little problem when using um, hard plastic knobs just like the Shimano FX because every time a fish strikes, my hand slips. So, and my advice, Look for um, ABA foam knobs just like the Casking Megatron and even better, a power knob. You can buy it and test it out, the Gumexus power knob or even look for a reel that already have a power knob. Those knobs, so choose ug asa kong comfortable, depende rin sa mga tao, depends on you, personal preference, test it out, make sure you're comfortable, that's it. So those are just good tips on how to buy or how to choose the best spinning wheel for you. It is important to know nga makaimang no ka sa pagpalit sa sakto nga spinning wheel because makapalit kag mga low quality, dalera maguba, line breakage, then you lose many fish. So go through these top factors before you buy any spinning wheels to be sure you make the right decisions for you. So I hope you enjoy the video guys. Be sure to subscribe to our channel M Slack, give this video a thumbs up, comment down for any suggestions and as always fish on.